Hello everybody, soy Alejandro Del Fuego and welcome back to Terraria. So, I started putting item frames over my, um, over my chest so I know what it is. For example, this one's like ores, this one's blocks. I don't have any mushrooms yet because I haven't harvested in a while and I made a lot of potions, you know, electrical, furniture, potions, weapons. I'm going to continue doing that off screen so you don't have to watch the entire painful process. A, um, an item frame allows you to put most items in there. So you can, you know, show off the items. And it, ju it just takes six wood, so it's not that hard to make. So I didn't feel like I needed to show you guys. Because I want to get right into the episode plan, which is I'm going to go back to hell for a bit and show you what needs to be done before we take on the Wall of Flesh. And yes, this is our handy dandy imp that's following me instead of, our, instead of the usual wasp. So, um... I have a whole stack of stone blocks. Now let me show you something. Now from what I know of the wall of flesh, let me just change my hotbar real quick so I can switch between weapons easily. Now, from what I know about the Wall of Flesh, unless this is incorrect, and I don't think it is, because I know people who have played Terraria before, the Wall of Flesh is a long enemy. He spans the entire underworld and travels from one side of the map to the other. So, in order for us to be able to battle him, we need to also be constantly on the move. And basically what that requires is a freaking land bridge across the entire map. Now I actually have not been to this side. I have not been to this side of the map. So I actually have not explored the houses on this side of, you know, the expanse of lava that was over there. Because I didn't feel like I'm um, jumping over a lava lake. Anyways. This will give us a chance to do so, because we got to do some excavating. Now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you a bit. As lovely as this architecture is, guys, we need to get rid of it, so I can defeat, so I can defeat that flesh wall that's gonna be summoned soon. Oh yeah, our hellstone, our molten pickaxe can actually mine hellstone a lot faster, which is kind of convenient for us. I'm just gonna take this hellstone here. Basically, I just gotta be able to get around fast. Doesn't make, it doesn't have to look pretty, but I have to have a reliable way to get from one end of hell to the other. Or at least as long as it'll take for us to defeat the Wall of Flesh. It doesn't have to be a straight bridge, and the less we have to build, the better. So that's why I'm kind of bringing it through houses. Oh crap, that's a voodoo demon, that's a voodoo demon, that's a voodoo demon. Don't! No! No! No, 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 no! Oh, thank god. Demon Scythe. So yeah, we have to be really careful about, um, you know, destroying voodoo demons. Well, what did I expect? This is hell. It's either kill or be killed. And no, it's not a reference to Undertale. I don't- I've never played the game. All I know is that in this world is kill or be killed is a quote said by a character you have to beat in the game. I don't know the context of said quote. And I hope no one spoils it, the context of said quote for me, because I have not, again, played the game, and I am planning to in the very near future for you guys. And if it's spoiled, I'm not going to be very happy. Hello, I'm here to commandeer your house and blow it up. Crap, crap, I didn't want to do that. Uh, 
Is that a shadow chest that I completely overlooked? Yes, it is. Now, the thing with shadow chests... Mythical Flame Lash. Ah. Now, all this hellstone I see there, I am going to come back and harvest. And mine up, I mean. And I'm not going to bore you with the entire building of the platform. Ah, uh, hang on, I just... Freaking, tr every time I try to open that chest, like a hundred things come to try and kill me. Okay, I'm just gonna take everything here. I mean, I'm mainly just gonna show you guys the highlights and stuff. Anyway, that's basically what we have to do. We have to build a platform that extends as far as we can across hell. So that way we can reliably run away and attack the monster at the same time. Run away from and attack the same the monster at the same time is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, we gotta go back to the surface because we're full on loot. And I just don't wanna deal with any more of those damn creatures right now. Okay, what I was trying to say is in between episodes I'm going to go build that platform so you guys don't have to see all that process, you know, all that boring process. By the way, this is all that you gotta do to um, put an item in an item frame, so all you gotta do is just right click the item frame while holding the item or while having the item selected in your hotbar. Not that complicated. Not that complicated. Okay, actually, I got demon scythes. Now this is a cool attack. Or cool, um, cool magic thing to have. So I think we'll throw this in our arsenal. Just in case. We got two of them. Let's see. Let's see if we can, um... Gnudar, where'd you go? I wanna see if... Oh, you're having a nice conversation with, uh, Shirlena. Now remember, these two guys love each other. So... You know, sorry Gnudar, I'm gonna have to interrupt you. Goblin thieves aren't very good at their job. They can't even steal from an unlocked chest. That is good. It's good they're bad at their job. Yeah, we can reforge a demon scythe. Let's see what happens. Really? You're gonna give me a weak demon scythe? Well, it is random. Manic. Minus 11% damage. No, I need a better damage. Adept demon scythe. Less than some mana cost, but... Now this is good. Plus 11% damage, plus 14% mana cost. I don't want to lose that, but I also want to see if we can do better. So I'm going to um, reforge the other demon scythe a little bit. Unpleasant. Plus damage, plus knockback. Mystic. Plus 11%, minus 14%. Weak. Godly! Plus 14% damage, plus 5% critical stance, critical chance strike, plus 15% knockback. Average knockback. 42, 40. I don't know. I like both of them. I think I'm going to go with the godly scythe. And I'm just going to do some quick inventory management, and then I'll get on with more of what I want to do this episode. How much gel did I get just then? 1,152. Wow. Okay, yeah, this... 
This is our money machine because we can also sell gel. Because we don't need, you know, thousands upon thousands of gel. I'm going the wrong way. Because I wanted to actually explore the underground ice biome. And there's an ice biome this way. Or underground snow biome. Is it snow or ice biome? I always forget. Either what? What? Hang on. I'm missing something. Oh, okay, I don't need this in my. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to move this farm soon. In fact, we're gonna replace the farm with, instead of blocks, it's gonna be platforms. Not platforms, um, planting bo planter boxes. Planter boxes act as platforms. Wait, do I not have any torches on me? Hang on, take two, I'll be right back. Yeah, this is the only thing that bothers me with this, is that the freaking undergrounds the freaking corruption is all permeating through this ice biome. So I can't get a nice pure ice biome that I wanted. Or can I? Is there non-corrupted ice that I can get to right now? Or is it all mixed in with the corruption? Because I want to explore underground ice stuff. Am I good? Am I free from the corruption? Nope. Okay, here we go. Nope, still all mixed in with uh, corruption, even over here. Unless we can go down it long enough. Okay, there's something over there, hang on. Okay, remember, ice life saving technique, life saving technique, life saving technique. So we can put a light source right there. That way we can see. Let's get a full lung of air and then we can go back down here. Because there is something down there, I see it. I love how we're at the point in the game where, like, these things that were such a huge, like, pain for us early on have now become, like, minor inconveniences. Also, I love how the, um, Molten Pickaxe gives off light, gives off light which is kind of helpful for us, you know, mining all the way underground down here. Oh, look at that, ice. So yeah, we did find a good... We found an okay 
underground ice biome. It's not the best, but it's pretty okay looking. I mean, look at this. We got ice, we got snow, we got some cold water. Gotta put down a freaking torch so we can see. Ooh, a house. There's a chest in here. Ice blade, iron bar. Good stuff, good stuff, you know. Not the best, but pretty good stuff. Put a light so we know we've been here. Was there a plant growing inside the house? Yes, there was. Wait, is this water? Yes, this is water. I just let in a whole flood. Okay, so now we're going into a completely different underground biome, which is, I think... I don't know. We're just gonna go, we're just going into general undergrounds. But, I wanted to explore underground ice biome, so we're gonna bookmark that for now. And just, um... You know. Continue on this way. I think I saw something down there. And it was just a little pocket. Still, little pockets here and there. Lead us to nice places, see? You can see a little bit off that way, a little bit off this way. You can't have it easy when it comes to ice. What's this? This is a house, I mean, but like... What's in here? Silver, rope, band of regeneration... Uh, oh, we're full up on stuff. The dirt can go away. So can the clay. No. Archery potion. Band regeneration. No, we don't want to get rid of that. Let's head home, get rid of our loot, and then we'll head back there. I put away my torches again. Oh my god, I gotta stop quick stacking. I mean, I should continue to quick stack, but I should stop um, relying on quick stacking. Unless there are torches in a nearby... Oh look, two um, hearts, two heart crystals. Too bad I'm at full health. I mean like max health, otherwise that would have mattered. Three, I should have come to the underground ice biome a while ago. Also, I'm using the light of my Mormasa and my pickaxe to guide me because I really don't want to go back for torches. Because I'm stubborn. There's not even a chandelier in this freaking house, but there are two statues here. The jellyfish statue and a star statue. There's also a chest down there. Wait, is that just empty? No, it's full of stuff. <laughs> Snowball cannon. Nice. I don't think that's going to be any use for us right now. There's another house down here.
Oh, 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 oh. There's another chest here. <gasps> Flurry boots! Oh my god, we can combine these with the rocket boots. We can combine these with the rocket boots, I think, and create spectra boots, which will allow us flight and to run fast. Because the flurry boots allow us to run fast. And, and, you know, got some ice torches. Not a good that'll do us now, because we're gonna head back to the surface soon. Because we're almost full on stuff. Well, my stubbornness paid off. Well, my stubbornness was rewarded. Oh, there's also a, um, a mushroom statue here. Now, I've actually got a couple more statues to show you guys that I have back at the, um... Am I full on stuff? I'm full on stuff. Let me, um, let's just head back, you know? I've already gotten quite a bit. Let's head back and I'm going to show you guys a few things after I do some inventory management. And I have freaking... Where did I get 16 ice chests? Uh, anyway. Where did I get 16 ice chests? I'll be I'll be back in a moment. I'm actually gonna do one thing first. I'm actually gonna combine those boots right now. Look at that. I can create spectra boots. Allows flight and the wearer can run super fast. Like, look at this. I can now run a little bit of improved speed. I think we have to build it up. Like, see, we're running a little bit faster than we normally did. Like, we're running at 30 miles per hour right now. It stopped because we hit a wall, literally, but 30 miles an hour. I'm going to set up these statues, and I'll be with you in the morning. Okay, they're all set up. First one on the list is the mushroom statue. Pretty simple. When activated, it just um, gives off light and stuff. Next one, star statue. This one drops us the mana star every time we step on it. There's a limit to how many mana stars it can produce and how often. This one gives us a little health heart. Again, limit to how much it can produce. Now the king statue. This one summons a male NPC every time it's activated. Like a random male NPC. I forget if there's a timer limit on it. You see, we just summoned the um, merchant. So basically if we wanted to, we could use this to have a big ol' party in the main room. Queen statue, same principle, summons a female NPC. See, look at that, we just summoned all our NPCs. Down here. Isn't that funny? And also look at how our rocket boots act now. I think we actually fly higher with them combined. Not sure. Could just be a placebo effect. Anyway, I'm just going to pick up these statues and the pressure plates because we don't need them down here. In fact, we're probably going to put the heart statue to use and the mana statue to use down there in the underworld. So I'm just going to pick up this wire cutter. Cut all this wire because we don't need it down here. And anyway, we just wanted to show you guys that those quick, quick few, those quick few things. I mean, in theory, we could just have the king and queen statue with us at all times, 
and, um, you know, a pressure plate and some wire. So that way, whenever we're out there, we, we're like in the middle of the dungeon, we can summon male NPCs and buy off, buy more torches and bombs or whatever. But um, this is pretty unreliable because it'll summon a random male or female NPC. So you could want like the demolitionist and it'll send you like the guide. Or you could want some. Um, you could want the mechanic and it'll send you the party girl or whatever. You know? So it's pretty. It's pretty, um. Not useless, but. I can't see any real use beyond that. Actually, actually, I'm lying. You could summon all your NPCs down somewhere to help you fight a boss, but that would be pretty dumb, because you'd probably get them all killed, you know? They'd, they'd probably all die, like, in a matter of seconds, and you don't want to have to wait for all your NPCs to happen to come back, because I know some of them take days to spawn in because they're random. Nudar, you have to find Bounds. And Shirlana, I'm not sure if you have to unbind them again. But like the party girl has like a one in something chance of spawning every day. I mean, I know the guide comes back as soon as possible. But like, you don't want to spend all the time getting back your, some of your NPCs. Anyways, um... That's gonna be it for this episode, guys. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, or don't do whatever the hell you want. Next episode, whenever that is, I'm not sure if I'm going to build a new farm using using the planters. Basically, it's between build a new farm or explore more underground fruit with you guys. In between episodes, I am going to be building that platform. And I'm going to do more fishing and stuff, building up on supplies. Obviously, I'm going to be getting a lot, a lot of gel. A lot of slime. Using it to build up currency, build up weapons. Because, you know, I can sell the gel and stuff. Um, ah, I just killed the Pornison Butterfly. Um, if there are any items you wish for me to... Oh, speaking of items, I can't believe I forgot this. The, um... The, the Molten Blade is a material in another blade that we can make um, using what? In another blade we can make using some things we find at the jungle. Basically we combine like glass, ba glass blade, Muramasa, Shadow Blade, Molten Blade, I forget, we combine a few of them, and we can turn that into an awesome, awesome blade. I forget how to make that, I'll research that in between episodes, the next episode, we'll see about that and other things. This is episode 24... This is episode 24 or 25. You see, I can't even remember. Yeah, this is episode 24. So... Six episodes from now, we will be fighting the Wall of Flesh, whether we're prepared or not, because I said episode 30 is when we're going to do it. So we are going to do it then. Anyway, as always, gracias, and have a good day.